hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another fabulous build fabulous why because it was my birthday yesterday and i had a wonderful 23rd birthday so with that being said i thought we could do a fun little build challenge where i am going to attempt to make the ultimate budget house we are going to try to make a fully functional sims house with 2300 simoleons i thought 23,000 was way too easy because a starter house is like 18,000 simoleons so we want to struggle a little bit you know that's what your early 20s is about so without further ado okay we're here with my little sim girly and it is actually thunderstorming and she would like to run inside girl where where are you running to um but we're gonna need to cheat her money down there we go we have our money and let's go into build mode oh my god don't tell me it's still gonna rain oh hold on hold on we gotta figure this out I don't have UI cheats installed, so I'm just gonna let the game run until hopefully, like, it's, yes, end the quest, until hopefully it stops. I don't know how long it's supposed to rain. Joy. It's like I'm reliving the hurricane all over again. Like, <laughs> excuse me, what are you doing? You peed your pants. I don't know how to explain this to you, but this is so birthday coded for myself. Oh, thank God it stopped. Okay, perfect. Let's get building. All right. Anyway, I think for this pack we're going, or this challenge, we're going to definitely need to rely heavily on, like, the stuff from Eco Lifestyle because they have just, like, the cheapest stuff. But how many walls can we get? That's 840. Oh. Team, this might be the entire thing, like, verbatim which concerns me greatly. Um, oof. This is actually going to be way harder than I thought it would. Okay, let's see if we can do this for the shape. Hold on, do we get some money back? We get a little bit of money back when we do this. Ugh, that's not looking too great. Concerning. Okay, we currently have 1,100 simoleons left. And my house is looking really sad. The budge went way quicker than I would have wanted it to. Um, but I'm feeling confident still, mostly because I have a blowout done, which means I am extra delusional, more so than normal. Uh, that looks perfect. We'll get one, like, over here. We have, like, the cutest little Suburban, Obsessed. And I think, like, what if we use this cute little nifty knitting door? I don't know what color. I just want to kind of go through and get everything we're going to need for the house. I kind of like the idea of it being over here. And then we're going to need the cheapest windows possible. But I don't want to use these. These are 20. Ooh, we might have to use these from Eco Lifestyle. Let me see. Let me see. Because these are only 30. And these are super stinking cute. And I don't think we're going to need a lot of windows because we are poor. This house is so small. I'm going to change it to a tiny home residential just because I want to see how many it's 19 tiles so far because we cannot afford anything else breaking out the debug let's go into eco lifestyle i don't see the live edit objects quite yet i must have not turned those on <clears throat> okay we here we're here we've made it and like how much 430 okay we're probably gonna need to use one of these little cheapy 25 ones because these are so stinking cute 750 simoleons no, that's certainly not going to work. Um, yeah, we're going to have to use one of these cutesy little double beds. Love that. This little blue one's cute. We can, like, scoot it into the wall. Hopefully that, like, works good. I don't know about the shape of this house, but we're trying our freaking best. We still need, like, a bathroom. Do we want, like, a solid bathroom? Like, maybe we could do... I'm kind of thinking we could do it over here. Oh, wait, wait, I have a concept. I have a concept. Let's move the bed over here. And then maybe, just maybe, we could do, like, a sink and a toilet. I don't know if this is going to be functional, so I'll have to play test it at the end. Um, let's get out of that. We could use this cheap 300. Oh, my God. Okay, that's rude. Oh, Guys, guys, I don't think this is going to work. Um, let's get a little potty. I really don't want to use this one. I'd rather use this one. 250 simoleons! Guys, we don't even have freaking walls yet. Or paint. 
Okay, so uh, we're gonna have to shrink the house. That's without a doubt. We need that money so badly. Um, and it might need to get even smaller. Guys, I think I need to shrink the house again. I think, I think this is time for us to do it. Ugh, okay. Um, I really didn't want to do that, but I think it's necessary. Let's just try to get some, like, appliances, maybe. I could afford this singular fridge or nothing else. This is $350. This is $215. I guess we could get, like, a cute little blue one. We are so poor, it's not funny. Um, okay, we need a counter. Maybe we could get... We can't even afford one can't even afford one. Just kidding. Okay, hear me out. What if we don't have a fridge and instead we get a cooler for quick meals? This is 145. I know it's still a little expensive, but we can like really make this work. And then maybe we could get like a cheap 240. Okay, I mean, at that point we should just have a fridge. But, like microwave. Ooh. No, no, no. We're not going to have a microwave. I'd rather have a sink. Yeah, I think I'd rather have a sink. We're going to this cheap one. And I just realized we're going to need an outside, an outside trash can. That we cannot afford. Awesome. Okay, so we can afford this one. And maybe they don't have an indoor trash can because we're poor. Maybe. Just a thought. Guys, I just tried to paint the walls. I think we're kaput. I think that's a... Yep. We can't even paint the entire inside of the house. Oh my god, okay. Hear me out. What if, what if we didn't have a toilet and we were just like kind of free balling it and then let's just, I think we finally have enough money for that. And then what if we get a pea bush instead because we are poverty. We are poor. This one's cute. It's got like little purple hearts. It's like very aesthetic. Maybe we could do the whole house like that. Um, yikes. Uh, let's do like the white siding. So cute. And then I have an idea. I have a plan. I have concepts of a plan, if you will. Uh, purple. And then we just, wow, that's so cute. I'm obsessed. Uh, trim makes everything better. Okay, that that's obviously like the cutest thing we could ever have. Fuck, we need more. Fuck. Okay. Shrink it down like that. That is so adorable. I'm obsessed. I'm just saying we can't afford a TV. Kind of a huge deal. What if I put this, like, almost like a... I think this makes sense. Because I don't know if the bed's going to be functional there, but I know the bed will be functional over here. Kind of do, like, a moment like this. I'm not gonna lie, when I was in college, I definitely lived in a place that was quite sad like this. And then this is like a real piece of furniture. So we could have that. I don't know what to do with our cooler. Um, should it be like a seat? Because I actually think you can sit on it, if I'm being honest. I hope you can get food out of it, because if you can't, that's gonna be awkward. Um, we got like a little TV. So cute. Adorbs. Obsessed. Maybe we could get another window. Just a thought that would look like kind of nice. Um, and then I don't know what else we can get. A bookshelf would be like a super win, I'm not gonna lie. So maybe we could do that, but like, where the fuck are we gonna put it? Um, I guess we could just put it over here. Yeah, like, that is cute. Like, it's almost like decor. 80? Oh, no. We need every cent we can get. 60? 10! Oh! We actually love the bunny one. It even comes in like our blue colors we're going for. Obsessed. 10 simoleon. I think we should embrace the purple a little bit. And then, do we have any purple siding? I don't think we do, but maybe we have some different siding that I like a little bit more. This is four. This is two. Oh, then we need to stick with this, don't we? Uh, let's go siphon through debug a little bit and see what the heck we can find. You know, it'll help hide how ugly this is. Is this big freaking tree? Why do we have an extra TV? We have two TVs? Okay, I'm gonna sell that. Um, I think if we just get, like, really lush greenery, I could, like, maybe salvage this a little bit. A, a little bit. No one hold their breath, because I don't know how well of a job I'll do, but we're going to try. It just occurred to me we don't have any lights in here, but we do have candles, which are very homey and cute, so I'm going to get some candles. 
Thank you, Debug. Uh, what else is in here? Any good stuff? Okay, I actually love these little friggin' orange flowers. You can mix them. I like this, like, wildflower look. I do it sometimes. Uh, we also have these. Perfection. Um, I don't know how that looks, but we're doing the best we can at this point. And our best is definitely not good enough. I can almost promise that. Let's just add in more purple. It's like... The purple is cute. We're doing all of this so I can disguise my pea bush, and at this point it's it's a little ridiculous. But I think, you know, that that could certainly look worse. At least that is the vibe for today. <laughs> it can always look worse. Look, we can even get these cute little like flower boxes. Let's put that up a little bit. Wow. See, this is actually so cute. Let's get one of these. Ooh. Okay. Control nine that all the way up. This is honestly like some of my best work. Some of my best work. We even have two windows. Slay. Gonna make a backyard even though we don't even have a back door. But we're gonna certainly pretend we do. And that is on doing a budget build. This is not just a budget build though. This is like an extreme budget build. Like this is borderline kind of crazy. But you know, loving it. Loving it every day. Living the dream. Ooh, okay, see? Cute yard. This I only put a yard in because I really wanted to use this. I think it's so cute. Like this little like bucket thing right here. That's adorbs. Look, there's even like a little light. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Cottage Living has the best debug, period. It is so freaking good. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. What if we use this as like art? Size it down like a whole bunch. I think this is actually going to work. Like... It's, it's a little crazy, yes, I admit, but... Okay, my mouse is, like, not mousing. Excuse me. Trying to defy the odds here. Look at that. Bam. Artwork. So stinking cute. Oh, it's off-center. That's going to make me crazy. Okay. Uh, perfection. Oh, now we're cooking with gas. Hold on. Because we have these cute little lights. Um, okay, these are stinking cute. Let me just put like a whole bunch of these over here and, okay, wait, we might need to move my house over just a little bit, like one tile so these fit like really nicely. Oof. Oof. Okay. Yes. All right, finally, these are really what I wanted to do because everything with the pathway is significantly better and we're going for these like kind of cutesy cottage vibes. We have some similar to these as in or in the base game but these are from the love star pack and i just like the coloring a little bit better but i think those are stinking cute all right i think i've siphoned my way through debug and i actually just had an idea what if we could afford oh okay we can't what can we afford how much is a grill six hundred dollars rude okay what can we realistically afford uh well nothing Nothing at all. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The one thing I would love if we could have is some kind of skill building item. So I'm wondering if we could get like a yoga mat. Oh, we can. Okay, wait. What if we did like yoga in the grass? Is there anything else we can afford? We can do knitting. Okay, wait. These are actually fun. I'm kind of thinking what if we get like a cute little yoga mat. Let's get a purple one. This is like our yoga studio out here in the yard. This is so cute. 125 okay rude let's see if we can get like a cute little knitting basket because it'll also fit in our house just put that right here oh shoot I forgot about our trash can just put our trash can like back here I don't know we have 37 simoleons hmm hmm it just occurred to me the only light we have in the entire house is uh this single candle so we're going to need some kind of light. I was hoping an overhead light. Oh, we can afford this street light. Perfect. 50 simoleons. Okay, we're going to have to sell something. Probably the yoga mat makes the most sense. Like, all right, you got to go. So we can get one of these saucer lights. Perfection. wonder if we can get any of these gardening. Oh, perfect. We're going to have our own garden. Because we're just so beautiful, perfect, amazing, awesome. Wow. 
we can actually get a couple of these. These are only 10 simoleons. Wow, we have like a fully functioning garden, and we still have 82 simoleons. Okay, what else can we afford then? Ugh, oh, I'm loving this. I guess functionally, the one thing we don't have that would really be beneficial is probably a mirror, which we can't afford. That's 50. Oh, let's do a mirror. So it's like really cute and cozy in here. It's, um, it's, uh, something. Let's see what else can we afford. There's like these cute little wall decals. Maybe I should get rid of this window. What if we size one of these little, oh, that's actually fun. It's like a headboard. That's like serving a little bit, or I'm completely delusional because this challenge was actually way harder than I thought. Okay, we have 57 simoleons. What else? What else could I possibly want? That's five. Maybe I like that instead of this because it's like, it matches, it's on theme a little bit more, I think. That's cute. Per. Um, okay, team, we can even afford an outside light. I hate to tell everyone this, but we might just be the supreme overlords of building The Sims. I think we just need to finish up with a little bit of terrain paint. Excuse me. Yeah. Terrain paint is free, which is good for us. Uh, let's just make that a little smaller. Wow. So nice. Um, okay. I feel like emotionally damaged from having done this challenge. So exactly how I should feel on my birthday if you're really thinking about it. I'm just saying, from right here, you hit it with a little G-shade. This house looks perfect, quintessential, beautiful, I'm obsessed. However, when you take that little G-shade off, and you get out of tab mode, and you take a little look-sees at her, you realize that this is actually um, quite a scary house. However, in the area I live, a nice little studio like this is going to cost you like $1,300 a month. And back home where I'm from, from down south, like Miami, I'm not from Miami, but like I'm close enough. Uh, this is going to run you $2,300, $2,400 a month. So, you know, for the price of, how much is this worth? 2,288 simoleons. This little beauty could be all yours. And the best part about the debug lights is they're actually functional, like, if you look at night. So it's pretty well lit out here. It's cute, you know, gorge. And you really could make so much money. You have at least, I think you can plant nine things in each of these. If you planted, like, roses, like, if you went on one date with one random townie who gifted you a rose and planted them in here, you would really be raking in some money every single freaking day and could certainly afford these. Plus, you're going to have better quality plants in this tiny home because this is like the tiniest tiny home you can get uh let's see oops oops um anyway you just get a bunch of things um what else what all do you get it doesn't tell me anyway you get a bunch of little perks so i think for an actual challenge this house would be like super fun to play in i would give you a tour but like that's the tour you just saw the whole thing the whole thing. <laughs> um, but it, it could have come out worse. It could have come out better. But we only had 2,300 simoleons to celebrate my 23rd birthday. But with that being said, we are at the end of our video. Thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. If you are also a Libra sister, happy birthday to you. I hope you don't cry on your birthday, even though that is kind of a staple for at least me. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you have a little thumbs up. I have some really fun stuff coming the rest of the month of October, my birth month, Trina Vega, carry me there. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to check some of that out. You know, I love when you do that. Don't forget to drink your water and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.